Echo Dungeon 20 Second Trailer. So this is Code Dungeon, a game that me and Victor have been Hello. making for the past three to four months that we are now releasing for free. It's fully blind accessible, at least we hope so, and we want you to play it and give us feedback. This is a tutorial just explaining some of the basic mechanics so that you can get in there and start slaying monsters. I'm gonna start a new game. New game. All right, so now I'm in game. First thing you need to know, W, A, S, D are the movement keys. W is forward, so from a gameplay perspective this is actually a first person game if you played swamp or any games of that caliber where you are the character and if there is a visual element it's a top-down visual element but you're playing it and thinking about it in first person mode so w is forward a is left d is right and s is walk backwards you can also if you don't want to use a mouse and turn around with a mouse you can hold shift and then a and d to rotate at 45 degree increments and you can totally play the game that way. If you want to play the game in a twin stick shooter kind of way, where W is up on the screen and S is down on the screen, you can totally do that. It's in the options. You just turn off first person mode, but it's there. Next thing to know is the attack button. Left, right, and middle mouse button. All of these different attacks are slightly different. So left mouse button swings your sword from left to right in an arc. Right mouse button does the same, but opposite. Right to left. This doesn't really mean anything when you're out in the open, but when you come close to a wall and try to swing your sword from left to right, and there's a wall on your right, you swing the sword in an entire arc before it hits the wall. While if you're up against the wall and the wall is on your right and you try to swing the sword from the right, you don't get the full swing. It gets blocked by the wall. So once your sword hits the wall, the attack stops. And so we've devised this system so when you approach a wall, you hear this tone. And this tone indicates to you how far away you are from the wall and if you are coming closer. If you can hear that humming sound, that is a crystal. So an important key to know is the E key. The E key will scan in front of you whatever you're facing. Crystal 2.7 meters. It'll give you the name of the object and how far away it is. So the range of your sword is about 0.6 meters. So I'm going to crystal 3 meters. Crystal 0.4 meters. Yeah, so I'm within 0.4 meters now of the crystal. I'm going to hit it. And I heard the door just there. So the door has opened up. I'm going to head towards that. Uh, torches will often be placed outside locked doors. So if you lose track of where the door is that you have recently opened, you can try to listen for the torches. You can also hear the clinking and clanking of doors that have been opened or are closed. Uh, they will be making this sound every now and then to let you know where they are in space. You also hear that howling sound, which is like the wind howling. Uh, that indicates that there's an open hallway or like that th this is an exit from the room. And then there's another sound to indicate when you're walking past an open space. Listen closely for this one. So when it opens up like this, that was the cue that the space has opened up in some way. Now I'm gonna walk backwards to where the space has not opened up. Those are a couple of noises that can help you evaluate the space and get a sense of what the space actually is. If you're ever curious of what cardinal direction you're facing, or the closest cardinal direction, you can always hit Q. And the direction of that sound, so the sound of east, will always be coming from east direction. I'm gonna move through this room now. The Chonka. If you want to know how much health you have, you hit the H key. One final tip I want to leave you with is the speed boost. So you can use spacebar to move quicker. So if I'm moving in a direction like, let's say, forward, 
when I hit spacebar, you can hear that the footsteps of the character are running through the environment. So you can use that to dodge out of the way. All action keys are totally rebindable. So if you need to change any options for how you control the character, you can go into escape. Pause menu. Go to controls. Options. Controls. Hit en Button. enter. Controls reconfigure. And here you can reconfigure all the controls so that they are whatever you want them to be. So if you don't have a mouse and you would rather not have any of the attack buttons on the mouse buttons, you can totally rebind them to anything you want. You just go to the option in question, let's say left attack. Left attack action, LMB. So you hit enter. Waiting for button input. I'm going to bind that to G. Left attack action, G press enter to change this keyboard. And now I'm going to go into the game. Pause. And now my left uh, swing is on G. Thank you very much for playing. I hope you enjoy the game. Thanks for playing. I should mention the music is by Eric Matias. We use his free sounds that he puts online that, that is free to use as long as they are attributed properly. So www.soundimage.org. If you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments down below or give feedback on the audiogamesforums.com. Thanks again to Americranian, Cam Lorne, Brandon Cole, Haramir, Modai, and everyone else at theaudiogamesforums.com for help and feedback and support. Follow me at Steelcase on Twitter if you want more accessible or blind accessible game development. I'm a VFX artist by trade, but I'm a strong proponent for making games that are accessible to everyone.